Welcome back. And now we are hearing that the internet computer developers are introducing a proposal to change how the internet computer upgrades proposal topics in the governance ecosystem. And so if you are an NNS or network nervous system voter in internet computer, pay attention. And even if you're not, this is really important to understand how development is going, how governance is going within the internet computer ecosystem. That way, when it comes to big changes and big proposals in the governance environment, you have an understanding at least generally of how it all works and how you can participate. So make sure you guys stick around and don't forget to give this video a free thumbs up. We upload every single day of the year since 2018 to bring you the latest happening in the financial world. Nothing I say is financial advice, do your own research, but I would appreciate if you guys give the video a free thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button. That way you never miss a new video every single day. And if you wanna help support the channel, click the join button down below to become a channel member. You get emojis, a little uh, logo next to your name, and it helps support the channel for as little as $1.99 a month. If you think that this information is important and worth $1.99 a month, click the join button to learn more. Thanks for all the support, all the thumbs up, and all of our channel members. Anyway, so somebody from the Dfinity team posted this on the Dfinity forum about uh, a few weeks ago, talking about bringing clarity to the internet computer upgrade proposals. So we're gonna go through what this is. I'm gonna give you guys my opinion on it. And then we'll talk about where it's all going in the future. And we have some other ICP news to discuss as well. So they said that upgrading the internet computer protocol involves the NNS or network nervous system, which is the core of internet computer governance proposals grouped by topics. Over time, these upgrade related topics have evolved in a way that is now somewhat confusing. Understanding proposal topics is crucial for neuron holders, AKA stakers, who delegate for voting decisions. Dfinity is proposing to make it easier for neuron holders or stakers to understand what upgrade proposals and topics mean to make more informed voting decisions. If the community approves this plan and adopts the corresponding governance and DAP releases, neuron holders or stakers will need to review their following uh, and will need to review their following and may need to adjust it to reflect their precise intentions. And so effectively, uh, ICP ecosystem uses different like verbiage than the rest of the crypto. Like they say neuron holders, which is effectively a staker uh, in the ecosystem. Stakers get a percentage of their coin, gets a vote, depending on how long they stake, how long they have staked, et cetera. We're not gonna get into all of that on today's video. I have a lot of content about that in my tokenomics and staking videos, and we'll be doing more about that soon. Uh, but yeah, I think I have a video called internet computer super stakers. And in that video, we go deep in into like how long you could stake for, what you're staking for, what do you get when you stake, what your rewards will look like and all of that. So I definitely recommend watching that video. If you can't find it, let me remind me in the comments and I will link it as well. So this is important. And what I love about Dfinity and the internet computer ecosystem is that they're informing the community that they want to make it easier. So you understand what you're voting on, how to vote, and make sure that proposals that should get funded do get funded. Because as we've seen in other ecosystems, their quote unquote governance and voting ecosystem is so complex that it, even if you're doing this full time, you still will be so confused. And I believe that's by design. This allows uh, insider projects to get funded and projects that may actually help the ecosystem that are not insider uh, developed don't get funded, right? We've seen this happen in multiple ecosystems in crypto, and that's where the conversation around governance, right? Guys, internet computer already has governance in play, while other ecosystems are saying, well, CryptoVisor, we're working on governance and we're almost, we're almost there. We're almost at the pivotal point where we're gonna have governance. And it's like, Internet computer has only been around for a few years and it already has all this technology that all these other blockchains, legacy one, legacy two, generation one, generation two blockchains are trying to achieve. Internet computer already has it. Anyway, uh, I'm sure most of you guys are bullish on internet computer anyway. I, I don't know what, I'm not trying to convince you. I'm just, it just doesn't make any sense that they already have governance and they're trying to get the community to understand what they're voting on. And there's other ecosystems that are like, oh, our, our governance is amazing. It's great. It's, and nobody knows what the hell is going on. So again, another reason I'm so bullish about internet computers. So the background of this is that the internet computer runs on a distributed network of nodes grouped into subnets. 
each node runs a stack of operating systems, including the host operating system, guest operating system. The host operating and guest operating systems are distributed via separate disk images. The umbrella term Internet Computer OS or ICOS refers to the whole stack for the sake of this discussion. Think of it as the I the Internet Computer OS as the combination of the host OS and the guest OS. There is a process for upgrading the Internet Computer Operating System versions via the Network Nervous System Governance Proposals. The upgrade process involves two phases, where the first phase is the election of a new Internet Computer Operating System version, and the second phase is the deployment of a previously elected IC operating system version on all nodes of a subnet or on some number of nodes. A special case is for IP API boundary nodes, special nodes that route API requests to a replica of the right subnet. API boundary nodes run a different process than the replica, but their executable is distributed via the same disk image as the guest operating system. Therefore, electing a new guest operating system Version also results in a new version of boundary node software being elected. Now, if you don't understand all of this, you don't have to. It's, it's really good to understand the general understanding of how this all operates, right? Do you need to know everything? No, but listen to this maybe two or three times and maybe it'll make more sense. The motivation behind this is electing and deploying new internet computer OSs currently happens through multiple proposal types within different topics with obscure names. For example, a new guest OS version is elected under the topic replica version management and deployed to a subnet under the subnet replica version management. New host operating system versions, however, are elected and deployed under one topic called node admin. The reason for this inconsistency are mostly historical. Uh, while the guest operating system has been this way since Genesis, since the blockchain began. So the scope of this plan affects only proposals in the context of upgrading the Internet Computer OS, renaming proposal topics and proposal types, adding new proposal types under existing topics, and making some proposal types obsolete. The two-phase Internet Computer OS upgrade process will not be changed. So now you guys have an understanding, a uh, general understanding of how the proposal ecosystem operates, right? You have a proposal that gets voted on and then you have the deployment of the proposal. And these are grouped into different categories for the different operating systems. So they're gonna be changing the way that they categorize these proposals, but not changing the way that the upgrade process works. You see? we didn't need to understand every single word and every single thing that was written here. We understood the gist of what is going on. That is the key to understanding and researching these projects, right? Because if you try to understand everything as an investor, you're going to, you're never going to have any time to actually invest because you're just going to be researching everything, right? So you have to get very high level understandings. So what they're talking about here is since upgrading the guest operating system and host operating system are conceptually similar processes, neuron holders or stakers might want to make one single decision on whom to follow regarding the election of a new version of these operating systems. Therefore, there should just be one proposal topic for both the guest and host operating version elections. They propose to call this topic Internet Computer Operating System Version Election. Once a new internet computer operating system version is elected, it can then de be deployed to some nodes. The deployment process makes use of software that's already been approved by the community. The main decision at this phase is about the order in which the software is deployed onto the nodes. Such decisions are made by experts who monitor the health status of nodes after each deployment to ensure that it's safe to proceed. Right, so they don't want to just deploy on everything. They want to deploy on a small subset, and then if that works, and then to another subset, if that works in another subset. That's kind of like, um, I would imagine they do the same thing with like apps on your phone, right? They're not just going to release a version after one engineer or one developer adjusts something. They're going to put it through quality control, maybe have a small test user set, try out the app, make sure everything's working properly, then have engineers look over it as well. So a lot of quality assurance before it actually gets deployed. 
Same thing that they're talking about here. They say, for example, to ensure optimal reliability of the internet computer, the guest OS versions must be deployed to all nodes of one subset via one proposal, while the host operating system version have to be deployed to one node per subset at per subnet at a time. Having just one proposal topic to follow for all the proposals related to the operating system deployment would aid this process. And so they're going to call that version deployment. And this is basically a summary of the plan changes. You can pause the video if you want to see this on the screen, but we're not going to talk about that. And then they talk about the implementation of all of this. So the next steps is Dfinity will propose the relevant upgrades for the network nervous system DAP, the network nervous system governance, and the internet computer registry in the next few weeks. This will implement the changes summarized above. And if the upgrades are adopted by the community, they're going to post a reminder to review your neuron or your staking following in the NNS app. I believe what they're talking about here is neuron following is kind of like proxy voting. So if you want a proposal to go through and you don't necessarily want to vote directly, you can have your neuron follow what another staker is voting on. It's kind of like proxy voting. Uh, that's what it sounds like. I could be wrong, but that's, I believe we read something about neuron following prior. And so whenever you hear neuron in the internet computer ecosystem, just think about staking or staker. Whenever you hear NNS, that's a network nervous system. That is basically the core of internet computer. And so this is how we learn about these crypto ecosystems. You know, I have a lot of people say, Cryptovisor, tell me about this crypto. Cryptovisor, what do you think about this crypto? Cryptovisor, uh, do research on this crypto. And it seems like there's a lot of people who don't really know like how to do research. They think there's like one specific way to do research. There's not, it's just about learning. And one of the ways that I've learned, especially with these newer protocols like Internet Computer, which I'm still learning about, I get a lot of people from ICP ecosystem correcting me in the comments saying, Cryptovisor, you're wrong about this. Cryptovisor, you're wrong about this. I know, I'm, I know I'm not 100%. But one of the things that I love about these ecosystems that are constantly communicating with their users and with their investors and with the people who are you know, looking to build on these ecosystems is you can learn by literally just learning, right? And what is learning? Reading, watching videos, hearing other people's opinions on these ecosystems. It's all there. And you may not understand it fully now, but if you keep reading and keep watching Dominic talk at his presentations and keep going at the Dfinity forum and reading some of these proposals that they're, they're talking about, this will help you learn. And that's why I always say, like, use these videos as a piece of your investment thesis or strategy um, in terms of, like, when you're creating yours. But don't take what I'm saying as it is what it is. I could be wrong about anything that I'm saying anyway. You have to do your own research. So if we talk about something that you don't understand on this channel, go research it, right? Or maybe say, hey, Cryptovisor, you know, I did some research into what the NNS governance looks like, and maybe you should do a full video on that, and then we will. Uh, because this is how we learn. And it's not just bringing clarity to upgrade proposals, but think about like what has already been upgraded within the internet computer ecosystem. We just talked about ICP swap recently, where ICP swap is basically a community or internet computer protocol funded project that is now an internet computer DAO, decentralized autonomous organization. And they just got their ICS token listed on the world's largest independent crypto data aggregator coin gecko. So now you can see all the tokenomics behind ICP swap, follow the market, follow the news, follow all the metrics between ICP swap. Now this is a small little victory for ICP swap, but it just shows that internet computer, as I go back to, it's the real deal guys. They are deploying, deploying, deploying. It's not like this is what we're going to do in two years from now and three years from now, here's some pie in the sky type of thing. Like we are doing it. And this goes back to what Elon Musk said in a recent interview. He said, like, people think that things just happen, and they don't. It takes a lot of hard work and a lot of people and a lot of time to get things done and to create new things, like these new world of finance, these new super AI compute-capable blockchains. I mean, it's really, uh, it's just exciting to, to think about where the future is going to be for not just internet computer, for, but really for the all of crypto. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give the video a free thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, check out our other videos. We got a lot of videos we post every single day and I'll see you guys tomorrow. ICP leads the industry, crypto on.